Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Last time we made um, some Ippies and several people asked the question, what can we do? What, what can we make with the Ippies? So today we're going to be preparing a side dish that is truly anti, that's full of antioxidants and is truly anti-inflammatory and just overall good for our health. Our main ingredients are asparagus and asparagus are full of antioxidants and anti-inflammatory fight diabetes, B vitamins, vitamin A for vision, and it aids in digestion. Also, it's anti-cancer and regulates blood um, cholesterol levels. And also, we have mushrooms. Mushrooms are full of antioxidants, also anti-inflammatory and a major anti-cancer um, fighting food. Um, also, vitamin D vegan source of vitamin D and um, other than the sun and has B vitamins and also iron and one good source to check out some a lot of this information is nutritionfacts.org I will leave a link at the bottom for you so this will be a side dish I'm going to be showing you one way we can use the ippies to saute some vegetables and mushrooms First thing we're going to do is um, cut our vegetables. And of course, the asparagus and everything was cleaned already. So you want to cut the bottom part of it because that bottom part is very fibrous and it's really not edible. Okay. Sometimes you see people cook asparagus long. I'm going to cut them short because we're using it as a side dish and, and I'm not and I have so many other things with it. So I'm gonna cut them. I don't want them I don't want to cut them too long. Um, and also I don't want to cut it too short. So about here for me. I like to separate this top part because it's a little um, because it's a little it's softer it cooks differently compared to um, the other the other parts so I'll put it separately so that way it doesn't overcook okay we're going to cut the onions. Okay. And I'm sure there's a better way to cut onions. I'm not a professional chef or anything. I'm just a random guy on YouTube showing you how I eat. Okay. I like to see onions. I love the taste of onions. So I'm cutting them in somewhat big pieces and I'll put them on the side over here like this. Next we're going to cut our bell peppers. Make sure I like to make sure I re I remove this white portion. I don't remember why. I saw it somewhere. And I'm cutting them into big pieces. 
not huge pieces, but big pieces. I also have uh, red bell pepper. I like the colors. And depending on the side, you might just want to have one bell pepper or if you'd like bell peppers or not. So I've heated the, the, the stove and I'm using extra virgin olive oil, but it's um, for sauteing and stir frying. I'm not putting too much oil in there because um, we don't want to, we're not frying things and we, we don't want to, you know, mess with having too much oil. So. Now I'm going to use the ippies and depending on the ippies, um, I might put a little or not too much. Got to make sure that it doesn't burn now. I'm gonna add some the mushroom. And you might have to add a little bit of water every now and then just to keep things from 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 burning. And I have some mushroom that is also pre-cooked. If you're someone who don't mind the oil, I guess you can add more oil. But for me, I'm not a fan of having oily, oily food or stuff. I'm going to add the asparagus and I've added the, the tougher part of the asparagus. Gonna add everything else pretty much because I want the asparagus to be crunchy. I don't want them to be, you know.
and add some onions in there. everything else Really, I can reduce the stove, the heat. Again, I do not want the asparagus to overcook. I want them to be crunchy. I probably should have added the onions um earlier but oh well experience counts make sure not to overcook the vegetables because we want a bite to them we don't want to keep them on the stove after we're done cooking it also because that will overcook it And again, we're not boiling this, so we don't want to add too much water or anything. I'm occasionally adding water so it doesn't burn. This is instead of having extra oil. Yes, I should have added the onions earlier. And I can take one, probably one of the tougher part, just so I can taste it. So I can see if it's, if it has enough salt. If not, I can add more salt. Voila, this is a healthy, colorful, antioxidant filled, plant-based side dish with an authentic island and or Haitian flavor. Remember that eating healthier is a process, so don't beat yourself if you aren't fully there yet. Take it one vegetable at a time. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Bon appétit.